What's up YouTube? I have a quick video for you today. It is how to change the tube out of your Rode K2 large diaphragm tube condenser microphone. If you have not heard or used or owned a Rode K2 in the past, I suggest checking them out. For the price, it's a really nice piece of equipment and you can find them used in good quality anywhere from $350 to $450. Uh, a couple things that you'll need in order to complete the procedure. Obviously, you're going to need the microphone. You'll also need a Phillips screwdriver, somewhere about a medium size, not too big, not too small. You'll need the tube that you're going to change to. And um, optionally, you may want to use a pair of clean work gloves. Some things that you'll read online talk about how the oil from your fingers will sit on a tube and obviously it's made out of glass, it's going to heat up as it's being used. Some people say the oil from your fingers will help uh, deteriorate or erode the tube by concentrating heat in an area. Other people say it's no big deal. I say, why not just wear a pair of gloves and you never ever have to worry about it. So a pair of gloves for three or five bucks, whatever. I'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to Brent Jesse Recording and Supply at audiotubes.com. So this is a new old stock tube that I got. You can see it says 1972 France on there. So this tube has been sitting on a shelf for over 50 years. It was manufactured in France and uh, no one's used it and it's found its way into my hands now, courtesy of Brent Jesse. If you want to upgrade any tube microphones with some really good quality NOS or new old stock tubes, check out audiotubes.com. Let's put it in the microphone. I've got on my gloves here, so I'm gonna open this guy up. And in the package, you'll see several items here. This is the power supply, which you do not need to do anything to in order to swap the tube. That's not part of the procedure. You've got a shock mount, which there's nowhere for a tube to go in here. This holds the microphone, in case you didn't know what that was. And some cables. Here's how you replace the tube. It's very simple. So the front of the microphone is marked by that gold circle. The back is, well, not marked. And the bottom is on the opposite side from the top. This is the top, and the bottom is on the other side. So you'll notice that there's one of these little uh, circular uh, microphone wheels, or whatever these are called, okay? I'm gonna pull this guy off carefully, not to disturb those threads. And now I'm gonna invert the microphone and very gently unscrew this here. And you'll see out the back side is the tube that's in there. So now it's time to take this guy out. You'll see also that uh, there's a couple of plastic components. The first one is the base that the tube itself locks into. And you'll see that there's also like a retainer of some kind here that prevents you from pulling it out. Okay, so this is where your screwdriver is going to come in handy. You'll see that there's a couple of Phillips screws right there. So all you want to do is take that screwdriver and start unscrewing things. Okay guys, it's not that complicated. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, so I'm gonna unscrew that first screw and now I'll come over and unscrew that second screw. And during this whole process you want to be real careful. You've got a lot of delicate components here including glass, including motherboards, there's probably some unicorns in here. And I'm gonna remove this plastic piece. By unscrewing these all the way. And you wanna make sure that you hang on to those screws. I just let them sit in that retainer piece because there's no need to do anything else with them. Now it's time to remove the tube. So how you want to do this is you want to grab up at the top and in a gentle circular motion kind of rock it out of there. And out she comes. Now 
Now we can remove this tube here. And during this whole process, you want to look out for the tip. This is called the exhaust tip. You want to make sure not to break this little delicate antenna looking part right here. Don't let your kids play with these. These are not spaceships. And these are not to be smashed around into the floor. These are things. So now we're going to reinsert this in the microphone here. And you'll see that there's a set of 10 pins that correlate to the input of the tube. And now what you want to do is line up those pins and delicately press it in there by the top of the tube. It's in. So at this point, the surgery is essentially complete. And all I need to do is put this re plastic retainer back in place. You make sure that you put the exhaust tip through that center hole there from whence it came, or wherever the, the old English word would be, okay? And then you'll never guess what you do next. You screw these back in, nice and gently. Now this is not going to the moon, so you don't want this really, really tight. You just want to make sure that it's seated. If you strip these screws, I don't know where you'll get new ones. It'll involve a trip to the hardware store. Uh, you could, you'll probably strip the motherboard before you strip the screw itself. And for that, you're going to have to contact the road. Supposedly their customer service is very good, but you know, why risk it? Just be careful. So after those are screwed back in and your new tube is seated delicately into that socket right there, you reverse the process. You're going to take this casing and very delicately place it back over the top. And I hold mine upside down just to make sure that it goes in easily. You don't want to over tighten it, but you do want to make sure it's on there. Back on the bottom goes the uh, you know, the microphone donut. And that's it. The surgery is complete. And now you've got a beautiful new sounding microphone with the power of an old tube. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope this has helped you replace the tubes in your microphone. Uh, as of yet, I wouldn't call myself any kind of tube specialist, but I'm inclined to believe that the process is fairly similar, ranging from microphone to microphone. If you have questions about tubes, contact Brent Jesse or look online and see what you can find. A lot of information out there is opinion, and uh, good luck. Experiment. Have fun. We're here to have fun. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Until then, uh, I'm Adam Lansky, and this was a video about uh, changing tubes. <laughs>